Kurz, Vulcan, Fear, Flame. One follows a false god, one has fallen from the Emperor's light. Whose tactics are superior, salamanders or night lords? This is 40k in 40 minutes, Firestorm Assault versus Fear and Loathing. Greetings 40k fans, your host JT, the voice of play on here, and have we got a treat for you today. Bricky brings his night lords to face Steve Salamanders as he shows off the new Firestorm Assault Force. Space Marine Steve in the studio again. I'm so excited to be here and playing my salamanders with the legend Bricky. Hello everybody, my name is Bricky and I'm here to, to play some Warhammer. We're playing Night Lords today, the sons of the Eighth Legion, sons of the sunless world, Ave Dominus Nox. Hail to the Lord of Night, my personal favorite Space Marine Legion. Ricky's Night Lords consist of a Terminator Lord with his retinue, a big old squad of Terminators, a squad of Possessed and a squad of Chosen, some Legionnaires, Cultists, a Venom Crawler, Raptors, and Obliterators. He's also got a Predator for fire support. I'm expecting the Obliterators to really try to put in some work here. We're finding Salamanders today, and we have a bit of a history. Steve Salamanders are led by Adrax Agatone, a squad of Infernus Marines, of course, a Gravis Captain with some aggressors, infiltrators, a lone operator lieutenant, five intercessors, a Ballistus Dread, and a Land Raider Redeemer. Steve's Land Raider is incredibly tough. In true Salamander style, have decked my army list with tons of flamers. We're ready to light it up. Today's mission is Dawn of War, classic long edge deployment. Our mission type is Scorched Earth, so from turn two forward, burning objective is a thing to score points at the end of the game. Players are also using the Minefield special rule. Any sixes rolled on an advance will trigger a mortal wound for the unit doing so. Hello. Hi, I'm Bricky. Hi, I'm Steve. <laughs> Hello, Steve. Welcome, of course, to the Play On Studio. You've been here for a little while. You enjoying your stay so far? The studio is lovely. I love the fact that nobody can see all that goes into this. But oh, we do love it here. We do a lot of wild and crazy stuff. Isn't that right, Tack? Shut up, Steve. Thanks, Tack. So we're on a factory. I have killed and or maimed the entire populace. You are here for retribution. This episode is brought to you by Frontline Gaming. If you're in North America, Frontline Gaming is your one-stop shop for all your tabletop gaming needs. Whether it's neoprene battle mats, pre-painted MDF terrain, commissioned paint services, tabletop gaming products, or even events like the Las Vegas Open. Frontline Gaming is your go-to source. Make sure to check out our affiliate link below as not only does it support them, but it supports us. Frontline Gaming has got you covered, no matter what you might need. Now, back to the action. Should we roll for our first deployment? Yeah, we... yeah. <laughs> yeah six. I'm gonna be the defender. I deploy first. Looks like Bricky's putting his Raptors and Obliterators into Deep Strike. Adrax, Agatone, and the Inferno Squad is going in the Land Raider for Steve. He's got his Captain with his Terminators in Deep Strike, and the Gravis Captain is joining the Aggressors. Intercessors are gonna be placed right back here. As I'm deploying, my strategy here is to spread out. Briggy has got a lot of close combat in his list, and what I don't wanna let him do is box me into one side of the table. Chaos cultists have sticky objectives. I do wanna take advantage of whatever flaws my opponent makes, so we're gonna put some things on the line that can reach, but everything else, gonna keep it nice and in the shadows. Flamer aggressors with the Gravis Captain. Five Legionnaires. Land Raider right here. Alyssa Stred, I'm gonna put it right here. A crawler with venom. Lieutenant combi weapon. Some chosen here by my tank. Put the infiltrators right up here. I smell weak Imperials. Bring in the Terminators. And man himself. Looks like the trend here is lots of hiding from both players. They're being very cautious as to not expose too much early. First turn's gonna be very important here as those center objectives are quite exposed. Holding them early, however, could prove more costly than it's worth. Let's go. I really hope you don't go first. I absolutely wanna go first because I have possessed and they go fast. I wanna be in that face. Such is the Night Lord way. Sixes. Oh, oh, yeah! Hey, have yourself a really good game. Welcome to the you studio. You my friends. Glad to be doing this. Thank you for having me here. I'm very excited. I always am stoked to put my Night Lords on the table. Looks like Steve's going first, and he's drawn secure no man's land and cleansed, and has Oath of Momented the Possessed. 
I'm gonna move along with my movement phase. Phobos Lieutenant takes his chosen objective on the left flank there. That's gonna give rerolls of ones to wound on the left flank objective. Intercessor sit on this objective, stick to the objective. Steve's really being pretty cautious here. He's just trying to score early and not cost himself too much. Nothing worse than giving those possessed an early charge. The shooting phase. Going to fire uh, the Ballista's missile launcher and the Ballista's last cannon, both of them in that Predator. Ballista's Dread opens up into the Predator Annihilator and only manages three wounds. I'm gonna take the Lieutenant in Phobos armor and he's gonna cleanse his objective here, scrub it down. And then the Infiltrators are also going to power wash this objective here in the middle, uh, scoring me five points on those secondaries. Uh, the Twin Assault Cannon, and we're just gonna shoot those Legionaries. On threes, a half hits. On threes, re-rolling because it's twin link though. Yeah, just kill a marine. Wonderful, and then we have a three up save here. Got it. So we lose a singular legionnaire. So as I come to the end of my turn, I'm, I declare no charges, of course. Two objectives cleanse for Steve. That's five secondary, and he secured no man's land. Gives him a lead of 10 to nothing. That was a short turn one onto Brickies. Both players up to two command points. Bricky's secondaries are tempting target and bring it down. Both are possible, but not ideal. Bricky's gonna be hard pressed to score bring it down this turn. And we need to kill either a Ballista's Dreadnought or a Land Raider. Good luck with that. But I think he's got tempting target no matter which one Steve chooses. I am going to tempting target this guy right here. So Steve got 10 points in his turn. Really good, the best he possibly could do. Great secondaries to start with, but he won't get those secondaries again, and he had to sacrifice his infiltrators to do it. Movement phase. Taking it from you. Cultists secure Bricky's home objective until Steve takes it, so that's gonna score him five till it goes away. We are going to advance ourselves some Chosen, because I wanna be on that darn objective. Oh, Bricky's definitely closing that gap quickly. Look at this, moving up the board. Shooting face now, dark packing the Predator, so strong in Chaos Marines. We want big money on that Dreadnought. A four, twin links as well, it goes. That is AP3, my friends. Let's see it. Yeah. Oh no. D6 plus one. Four damage total, my friend. Makami Bolter. Hits, does not wound. No. Dual heavy bolters. Here we go. Two fails, two explosions with the five ups. We need sixes. We need sixes. One six at AP one, you have a three up for me. Three up. Yeah, good to go. But finally, a Havoc launcher, D6 shots. That's well, one hitting on a four, bada bing, wounding on a five. It is not, that is the end of my predator. Do the gods take their due? Yes. We're good. These five chosen. Chosen can advance shoot. We have 10 shots into the Dreadnought. Let's see it. We are gonna dark pack for lethal with these bolt guns. We have one lethal, miss with all of these. But do we get more sixes? We do. Two saves for me, my friend, on a two up. Ha! Yeah, look at those. We see, no, the gods do not take anything from me. Venom Crawler now into the aggressors. Steve responds with Armor of Contempt. Only loses one aggressor. However, the Dark Pack fails and the Venom Crawler takes three mortal wounds. Take that, Chaos. This is the charge phase time. We will be sending the five possessed bomb into the infiltrators. Yeah. We need a four. An 11 will do. Four attacks each, hitting on threes. We will have exploding fives, but when they dark packed, they get dev wounds. Eight explosions. Wow, eight sustained hits. The possessed gain devastating wounds when they dark pack. That's a squad of infiltrators gone. The gods are pleased. Do the gods take their due? <laughs> they definitely do not. And now I shall consolidate upon thine gentleman. The lieutenant takes his pair of combat knives, hitting on twos, let's go. Oh yeah. Oh, and two sustained. And these are anti-infantry for us. The lieutenant fights back and he actually takes a possessed down? Did Chattocles join the Salamanders? Well, that's my turn. 10, five and one, solid start for both players. Steve's got the lead in the scoreboard, but Bricky has got the table advantage. He's discarded Bring It Down to go to an extra command point, so he's gonna go with four command points as he starts turn two to Steve's two. Beginning of my turn, I'm gonna draw some cards. Steve's drawn Assassinate and Behind Enemy Lines. Only one character on the board for Bricky though. He's chosen Oath of Moment on the Cultists. 
Five points on primary for Steve. 15 to five as we head into his turn two movement. The Ballistas advances forward. Everything in Firestorm is assault, so no loss there. Take the extra movement. Intercessors take a mortal wound from advancing due to the minefield special rule. <laughs> Infernus Marines are gonna get out. <laughs> My movement phase is over. Rapid ingress. Rapid ingress for Bricky here. He's down to three command points and his Blitz are in Steve's deployment zone. So the point of the Obliterate Rapid Ingress is to get to a spot where he can't shoot back even if he wanted to, and the Oblitz have a once per game indirect shot. But more importantly, I can move them up and try to take that objective from him in his home field. Shooting phase for Steve now, and here comes some Salamander Firestorm tricks. Crucible of battle for a command point. He's wounding those possessed on threes. Ah, whoa. 40 hits. Oh wow, 40 shots with Torrent. That squad is wiped. Flamethrowers! The unit of Flamestorm Aggressors here are all gonna shoot at your Legionnaires. Flamestorm Aggressors get extra AP because of close quarters fire, but still only manage to kill one Legionnaire. Intercessors, all their bolt rifles at the Cultists. On three. Three rolling. All of them. Then on three. Seven. AP minus ones. Sixes. Neither. Intercessors take out seven of the Cultists. I'm gonna send one Hunter Killer Missile here. I am going to spend one CP for the Nurgle mark on them. Bricky spends a command point to make the Oblitz untargetable outside 12. He's down to two command points now, and that's going to change Steve's split firing. I'm going to send the uh, twin assault cannon to the cultists. I won't retarget the um, Hunter Killer. So five hits, and then on twos, re-rolling because it's twin linked. Four saves. The cultists are gone. No more sticking objectives for the rest of the game for him. I'm gonna hit everything into the predator. I'm within 12, so I go strength 13. Thank goodness re-roll. That's snake eyes. So on threes. One hit, one miss. Yeah. Give me a six then. Oh, I did not. D6 plus one for five. Down to three wounds. Send the ballistic missiles, two hits. Nice. So this, funny enough, goes actually to strength 11, because I am so close. Hey, we just got three. Yeah. Five ups, my friend. Fail them both. Fail Don't them roll both. snake eyes. Oh, and nope, that's a lot, seven. Do we get a deadly demise up in this <gasps> crib? We do not. I'm going to go ahead and charge. That's what I'm going to do. The aggressors and the captain charge the legionnaires. That is the only charge that I'm going to declare. You know what? I just want to start with the captain because I feel like the captain might be able to just do it by himself. I get five power fist attacks and two relic blade attacks. This guy's way more awesome than I remember him being. On threes with a power fist. All of them hit. On threes or twos. Five AP minus twos. See those five ups, my friend. They do live with one. Surprising. But then extra attacks trigger on the relic blade that he's holding. On twos. Bunch of hits. Feel it? I feel it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. That twin power fists. Three attacks apiece hitting on threes. Let's see it. Sick. They're re rolling because they're twin layers. Yeah. Oh, it's all of them. Uh, so six, AP minus twos. Oh, uh, you, you want to see these five ups? Oh, there wasn't a single one. <laughs> Goodbye, chaos. Get off of my objectives. So I'm going to end my turn. Three dead units and three threats removed. Steve has swung this game from a long edge to a short edge map pretty quickly. I'm not sure where Bricky wants the Raptors, even if he brings them in on his turn. That said, no secondary for Steve, so it's still only 15 to five in his favor. He's discarded Assassinate for a command point. Both players sit at two. You know what, my turn went well. I think Bricky is lining me up for a real good beating this turn. I think it's time we begin my turn. Bricky turn two now. He's drawn Cleanse and Area Denial. Both are eminently attainable. Tie game as he scores 10 points on primary, 15 all. Movement phase. Bricky's definitely moved up aggressively here and the Raptors are into the mid board, not really within Overwatch range. We need a contingency plan. Second Raptors are in back behind the Velissa's Dread. These are marked of corn, which gives us lethal on fives. Well, we have to determine if we want to cleanse here or go in for stabbing. I like stabbing. Oh, so you're gonna stab, you're uh, gonna- Let's start with a little bit of shooting, shall we? Venom Crawler, Steve using Armor Contempt battle tactic here for zero command points, nice. Manages to save the squad. 
and the Venom Crawler has really angered Papa Nurgle. Three more mortal wounds from Dark Pact. My Venom Crawler's lost six of his nine wounds entirely from the Dark Gods. Five bolt pistol shots coming in at your dread from the Raptors in the back. Well packed. Nice. Uh, we'll missed quite a lot, but we get one. And we do not do the wounds. One wound, two of them. Yeah, good to go. Very nice. Do the gods take their due? They do not. I am gonna spend one CP on the best strategy in the whole game. Grenades. Grenades. Yeah. Chosen. Grenades. Ballista's dreadnought. Yeah. Meet it. Four ups. Never heard of her. Ha ha ho! That is five mortal wounds, my friend. Ugh. So the ballista shred uh, goes from eight wounds down to three wounds. We are going to fire the bolters from the chosen directly into the dread. Okay. We are going to be dark pacting for lethal hits. Yeah. Of course we are. Uh, two lethals. Couple of misses up in here, but we love sixes, don't we? We do. Whoa. Uh, so five at twos. Fail one. All right. Oh, one more. I owe you one more. Oh. Yep. I fail one. Go from three to two. Very nice. Does this dread not degrade? It does degrade, yeah. Lovely. So it's minus one to hit now. Do the gods take their due? They do not. The entire Terminator squad will fire its arsenal upon your Infernus Marines. I will Dark Pact over here as well. We will be going for sustained. We do not get fancy bonuses because we are corn that only goes in melee. No. I don't think anything is within 12. It's is everything in, within range. Two shots each with the combi vultures, Correct. basically. Hitting on threes, sixes sustained, full rerolls to hit because we are terminators. Sustained. One more sustained, so we have a 100% hit ratio We're on fours. Nine saves, my friend, on your threes. Lose one and a half in Furnace Marine. Reaper auto cannon hitting on threes, sustained. Wins yep. on threes? On threes. Oh, all right. Do the gods. Six is a no. I am going to utilize the obliterator's once per game ability and fire indirect. They are going to fire into the Infernus Marines. And we are going to utilize their flesh metal guns and specifically their middle profile, which is Ruinous Salvo, which will be D6 shots each. Blast? Blast. Sustain? for Nurgle for five ups. 2d6 shots. That is incredible. And then another four because each of them is getting plus two. These will be hitting on fours because of the minus four indirect, but we are exploding on fives and sixes. Three explosions. Wounding me on twos. Seven at AP two. You get cover, so it is your fours. Damage two, four ups. I need you, I need you right now. I lose three of them. It's not horrible. The Raptors are cleansing. Charge phase and the Venom Crawler goes into the aggressors. I'm surprised he didn't tank shot there, to be honest. We have a five inch charge that needs to be made needs upon be made. the intercessors. A seven will get me. Let us throw the Chosen into the Dreadnoughts. Chosen reach their target. The nine. What's the percentage chance of a nine inch charge? Not great. It is not. You made it, didn't you? The Raptors fail their charge, re-rolling, still fail. All right, let's murder. Attacking there first. You know, we're gonna dark pact again because at this point, you know, it hasn't hurt us yet, right? Venom Crawler dark pacting again, kills the squad, but takes two more mortal wounds. Oh no! Grandfather Nurgle, I don't know what I've done to har harm you. I don't know exactly the reason why you've done this to me, but please leave the Venom Crawler alone. Papa Nurgle is doing my job for me. This is awesome. Naturally, we have the obliterators. Eight attacks, hitting on threes, sustains. Wounding on two, sir. All. Oh. Looking for fives and sixes, my man. Oh, it's pretty good. Oh, Yahtzee. <laughs> I only lose uh, three guys. But it will stop you from holding it. That is true. Pile in to base you, sir. Do the gods take their due? They do. How many mortal wounds are we expecting? A two. I am down to two wounds now on one. Last but not least, we have the Chosen. The Chosen are using profane zeal now, out of command points, but that is a dead Ballista's Dreadnought. You have your fight face. Oh yeah, so. the stuff, whoa. Wounds on fives? Oh snap, two oh. of them. Oh, could you imagine if I got snake eyes right here? That'd be. <sighs> so the awesome thing about this though, is I still control the objective because they have got objective secured. 
That is the end of my turn, sir. For secondaries, we do cleanse the middle objective. It is only for three BP. As for area denial, while the Terminators are not within six, the Raptors are. So that's a five BP there, giving me eight Boom. for secondaries. So at the end of the turn, I'm gonna spend one command point for rapid embarkation. And what it does is it allows me to take a unit that's huddled around a transport and they hop back inside. This is a great stratagem for giving me all kinds of flexibility in my next turn. I don't think Ricky's gonna see it coming. Really? That's fun. It's an interesting choice here. But with the salt ramp, he'll be able to drive up and get real close to whatever he wants to roast and then punch it. And a round two sees a score of 23 to 15 in Bricky's favor. Bricky's out of command points. Steve sits at two, and Steve's gonna have some battle shock to take. Steve does have a line on Bricky's home objective with his Terminators that are still in deep strike. This is a tight match for sure. Overall, I think it went really well my way. The things that punched, punched in the proper spots. He did put all of his Pyroblasters into the Land Raider though, and that's a little terrifying. You're up, my friend. Steve's pulled behind enemy lines and attempting target. Ricky's chosen the objective on Steve's right flank. A battle shock test for the Intercessors. Let us see it. Uh, they fail. Oh, Intercessors fail Battleshock, but they're gonna hold that objective unless the Oblitz are there at the end of the turn, as the objective is stickied. Steve's chosen all the moment on the Obliterators to assure they die. Five points primary takes us to 20 to 23 in Bricky's favor. I am going to disembark and move in Furnace Marines plus Ajax. The ability to be like from up here to back here and then over Oh. For that one CP is oh, so nice. angry. You probably gave yourself eight inches of movement. Land Raider moves up to the midboard. Steve falls back with the Intercessors. Got to roll Desperate Breakout. All good. Terminators drop out of Bricky's home objective. All right, I have one plan right now here at turn three, and it is to raise his back objective. Shooting phase. That unit back there is going to begin to scorch that objective. Combi weapon off of my lieutenant there. Hitting on, I believe it's fours, might be threes actually. Threes, I got one in. I'm wounding, that is T9. You want a six for the I want devastating wound. I do, yeah. yeah. No. I didn't get it. The captain will shoot at you. Wonderful. Bunch of hits, same kind of deal. However, I get to reroll ones, but you're within range of the objective uh, that is no. In Furnace Marines here, uh, they're gonna fire at your obliterators. You are aware of their two-up armor, correct? Is there a, a possible stratagem you might be you, using? Could it possibly cost two CP? Better believe it. Two command points here for immolation protocols. That's gonna give them devastating wounds. He's down to one command point. Flamethrowers! No wonder he kept yelling flamethrowers. Flamethrowers! Moving on five, which is not phenomenal. Number of hits. This is from, oh yeah, 25. Okay, we're looking for fives, but really what we want is those play on logos. He's ready. Oh, you're taking three wounds. And then you got five two-up saves to make. Two ups. So we are down to three wounds on the other obliterator. Hadrax himself so needs to go. D6 plus three auto hits. Oh my God. Wow. So eight, eight. hits. Wounding on fives. All right. Here we go. So four AP minus ones. We've survived the logos. Well, we get three ups. We fail one. We are down to two wounds. Both of my Flamestorm cannons off of the Land Raider, and they're gonna fire into the Raptors. multi melta and the Assault Cannon, and they're gonna fire into Obliterator here. Hunter Killer Missile will go here. Give me that, give me that Hunter Killer first. It hits on two. Oh, I, I bet it does. They did. One's on three. Yeah, straight 14. It totally does. Oh, oh my goodness. Could you imagine a five up right now? <laughs> oh, but the Venom Crawler lives. Multi Melta. Right in here. Very multi. Quite Melta. Oh my. It's okay. Both a moment. You're right. We're oaths. We're oaths. Both hits. No. Wounds on threes. Uh, one wound. AP a lot. Here we go. Oh no, Mario. You know what? It dies regardless. However, it takes seven points of damage. Here we go. Into the Raptors. 2d6 plus six shots. Or hits, rather. 14 hits on threes. You ready? I'm so ready. Oh. So 11, AP, whoa. AP minus twos, two damage a piece. Oh goodness, so we need fives? Oh, that, oh, oh. Goodbye, Raptors. You have done your part. 
Flame Drivers! Charge face down, Venom Crawler is probably not long for this world. That's gonna be everything that I'm doing. I'll start with the captain. I think captain's gonna have to go first. Five attacks with this power fist, and they're hitting on twos. Like, yeah, they've like upped it, I guess. I don't know. Oh, the Gravis captain has punched the Venom Crawler to the moon. Billy Demise. No. Steve discards tempting target for a command point, scores behind enemy lines for three, puts him at 13 secondary, 10 primary, 23 points, which is exactly where Bricky sits as well. 23-23 as we head to Bricky's turn three. Bricky's pulled Storm Hostile objective and secure No Man's Land and scored 10 primary. He's taken back the lead, 33-23. I'm moving 12. Oh, you're doing it! I'm doing it. The Raptors move towards Steve's home objective. Oh, I need a nine. You need the nine. Are you going to overwatch me, sir? Not yet. Terminators are turning back to fire on Steve's objective grabbers. He's got to get his home objective back. The Chosen, they're going to go right here. Fairy Knight Lordsy -E of you. <sighs> Let's shoot. I'm going to fire everything I can at you right here. And I'm going to Dark Pact. Cannon and the rest will fire that down that one lane. So you have to shoot at the captain because the other guy's got a little operative. Hitting on threes, full rerolls to hit. Lethals on sixes. Four lethals. Three more lethals. Have wounding on fives. 13 saves to make at AP nothing. Twos. I fail one. That's about what I expected. Combi Boltzer is coming in. Lethals hits with all. Wounds on fives. One wound. AP nothing on Gravis. Three up. Nope, takes it. One damage. Four more shots with the Reaper Auto Cannon. Hits on threes. Hits with all. No sustain, no lethal, nothing. Yep. Wounds on threes because strength seven. Two at AP, one, two devs. Okay, damage. Two go through. The gods take their due. They do. Only a little. Oh, we're gonna fire some bolt pistols into Agrax and his boys. The Raptors plank a wound off of one of the Infernus Marines. Charge phase now, this is big. The Terminators are in. The Raptors. The Raptors get overwatched. Steve's to two command points. 66 auto hits. Let's see it. 27 hits. It's a lot. It's a lot, a lot. So there's strength five because you're within the 12. Strength six on threes. It's just so angry. Okay, so 17 AP nothings. Perfect. Three are dead so far. Okay, and then Ajax, D6 plus three. That's a, that's a, that's a. Nine, and you're within the 12, so it's three, five. So it's three, okay, let's see it. Six AP minus ones. All right, well, um, and one of them lives. Pull them all besides the dude with the cool claw. You must roll a 10, my friend. But the charge fails. That would have been it. But the, the claw's better. Let's fight here first. We got ourselves a, a lovely pile in here. Four cans, but the rest can. Steve's using right to battle for armor of contempt for zero command points so that he can save these wounds on threes. These will be hitting you, sir, as we dark pack naturally on threes. Lethals on fives. Full rerolls. Lovely lethals. A reroll all of these because we're fishing. A wound you on fours as we are strength five. Three more wounds. 18 wounds, wowie wow. On three ups. That's two dead terminators, but the Lord now with the talisman of burning blood, no kills, but almost kills one more. You may strike me back. However, I am also going to use my once per battle round infernal rights free strategy. It's armor of contempt. My war tempered artifice. Um, so he has five attacks with his rail with his relic sword. Okay. And he's hitting on twos. Three hits. After that, he's strength eight now because of war tempered artifice. So, three. so on threes. Two AP minus twos, two damage apiece. Goes to three ups then because of my thing in. All right, I lose one Terminator. Whoa, baby, that's the stuff. Now the Terminators. Power fist, three attacks apiece. You got threes? Ooh, yeah, not great though. Ooh. So two AP minus twos. Three ups, we're good. I believe that is the end of my turn. Some mistake made on these on the Storm Hostile Objective Raptors over there. A secure No Man's Land. I currently only hold one in No Man's Land for two points. Yes. However, for Storm Hostile Objective, you held this objective at the beginning of my turn. I do now, so that's five points. I will end with 
seven, and I will have stopped you from burning it to the ground. Ricky has opened up a lead, 40 to 23 here, but Steve's got all the board presence he could ask for. Ricky will be hard pressed to take that space back from Steve. Despite his 17 point lead, I think he might be in trouble. Steve's pulled extend battle lines and deploy teleport homers. He's oath of momenting the terminators and his captain has succeeded on battle shot. Oh boy, the intercessors have failed again. That's gonna make it impossible for them to deploy teleport homers. 10 points primary for Steve, still behind 40 to 33. Land Raider advancing, takes a mortal wound from minefields, but hauls across the field. Those chosen could be in trouble. Sir, what are you doing? I'm gonna shoot them. What about the homers? Who cares? <laughs> Flamethrowers. It's gone from excitement to malice. Phobos Lieutenant needs a five to advance to score teleport homers. Oh, let's go! It's a logo supreme! Minefields give him a mortal wound, but he's still gonna score five for Steve. That is a game-changing roll. Yeah, let's do some actions and shoot some stuff. Yeah. Gravis Captain is gonna burn this objective. How dare he? The Phobos uh, Marine is gonna deploy teleport armors in your deployment zone. These guys are battle shock and gonna hang out. These guys here are just going to flame the Raptor. Normally I would just pull them, but we gotta do it. We gotta do it. <laughs> 20 hits from the fire blasters. Trees. Yeah. 14 AP minus nothings. Three ups. Oh, it was close. I only failed three. Now we'll go over to the Land Raider. Going to fire all of its weapons into the Chosen. The Chosen are using Infernal Rites for two command points. Try to save them from the Land Raider. Steed uses Crucible of Battle to get plus one to wound and only manages two dead Chosen. Yes! Feels good, right? Feels great. I, I <laughs> Feels love great. it. Five phase. Yeah. Armor of Contempt on the Terminators again for free, so minus one incoming AP, but the squad is dead. However, Bricky's Terminators are way out of position and the Dark Pack takes another Terminator. I believe that's the end of your turn? Yes. I score, deploy teleport Homer, and extend battle lines for 10 points in total. What an absolute massive turn for Steve. Max Secondaries has put him in the lead 43 to 40. My turn. Assassination now and capture enemy outpost. He's gonna use new orders, down to one command point, gets deploy teleport homer. That is a tough, tough draw. He still scores 10 points on primary. That takes him up to 50 to 43. Chosen advancing and Steve chooses to overwatch. He's down to two command points. Twin assault cannon on sixes. Oh baby, two of them. Freeze to wound, re-rolling. One AP, nothing. Three up. We're good. multi melta no. Ooh. 2d6, plus 6, auto hits. Whoa, baby! 14 auto hits. You gotta make 10 five ups. Dead. Oh, oh boy, he wipes the squad. That is huge! Flamethrower! Bricky spends his last command point on unnatural swiftness to fall back, shoot, and charge. He needs to stop Steve from scoring here as much as he can. If he downs that Gravis Captain, that'll stop him from burning that objective and keep him in this. Oh, I need him to live. Please, 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 please. We will fire and we will dark pact for lethal upon him. Better believe that oh. we are armor contempting that. Four attacks with that cannon itself. Hitting on threes, lethal and sustained, because the cannon has sustained naturally. Full rerolls to hit. Reroll the twos. Oh. oh no. Wounds on threes, strength seven. One wound. Three up save because of armor of contempt. Feels good. 14 bolt gun shots. We want sixes for those lethals. Yeah, we do. One lethal. Reroll on fives. That is not bad. Six saves on a three up. Yes! And the captain lives! Dang, I got a five point swing. Oh, my decision was right. The decision was right. You played that very well. It doesn't matter if it's battle shocked or not. At the start of my command phase, it burns it. Charge phase. Terminators charge back in. I want to use the character first. D3 attacks. Uh, I did pop the free strap, but I mean, I gotta do it. I just made 
Captain using Armor of Contempt for Steve's last command point because he needs to hold those Terminators there. Two more attacks from my Talisman of Burning Blood. Nine oh attacks, hitting on twos. Oh, to reroll all these. Two more lethals, one drop, wounds on threes, another. Give me eight saves. Three Fs. Oh, yeah. Make them all. Oh, my God. <laughs> he is invincible. <laughs> eight more, guys. Goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, no. And yet he lives. 22. Four wounds left, right? Three ups. Five. Ah. Oh. Six sevens. No, he dies. That is an assassinate for five. This should have been done last <laughs> yeah, turn. But it was not. Assassinate for five, discarding deploy homers for a command point. 25 secondary, 30 primary, puts Bricky to 55. Steve sits at 43, but it's Steve's turn five. At the start of my command phase, this guy right here raises this. So this is removed. I'll keep this objective. That's five points. Battle shock. Now is the time to use insane bravery. The intercessor's midboard. Steve will score 10 primary. He's also drawn area denial and storm hostile objective. I don't think he can storm hostile, but he can definitely area denial. Scores points and hides seems to be his plan. End of Steve's turn, and he scores five for area denial. He cannot score Storm Hostile, so it's useless to him. He currently sits at 58 points with five in hand at the end of the game for raising an objective. Berkey sits at 55 points. I'm not sure if he can catch him. It's gonna depend on what he draws for secondaries. It really all comes down to this final turn. Final turn, I don't score anything yet. Investigate oh. signals. Ooh, mm, that's spicy. He's pulled engage on all fronts and investigate signals. Brutal. You can't do either of these, right? Like there's no, no it's impossible. Yeah. It's flat out impossible. If I can make a Hail Mary advance roll. Bricky could steal the center objective while still holding his home objective if he stretches his unit out. In order to be within three inches of this objective, I am 10 inches away. So I would need a five on the advance roll. Now I could get a six, but it would still not be enough in terms of OC to pull you off because you have full OC. If I were to perhaps take some Terminators, move them five, I need an 11. If I get an 11 inch charge, I can string my units across the board as they are. I need an 11 inch charge to win the game. Well, that's it. He summed it up, folks. He needs an 11. An 11 wins the game, and he's got command points to reroll. Wait. The victor dice. Oh, my God. From my win against Nick. Here we go. Please, no. Freaky. No. A 10. Oh, ho, ho. A 10. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's got to reroll it. Can he do it? Every single thing is on this roll. I got a 10. It's not enough. Please no, please no, please no, please no. Another 10. He didn't do it! Vulcan lives! It's always lore accurate when the Night Lords lose. Accurate, good game, good my game, friends. Man. That was good. <laughs> Woo! What an absolute nail biter of a game. Three points in it, and it came down to the last roll of the game. You gotta love games that are that close. Thanks to Bricky and Space Marine Steve, what a fantastic game, gentlemen. Well played. It's fine. It's lore accurate if the Night Lords lose. Bricky is a fantastic opponent, a great guest to have in the Play On Studio. Hopefully, Bricky, you can come back and join us soon again. Great games, challenging and fun. The perfect combination of Warhammer. Decision paralysis, epic moments, down to the wire calls, literally the reason you play this game. And the people at Play On were amazing opponents. So from all of us here at Play On Tabletop, until we see you again in the far flung future of this grimdark universe, Flame Play Drawer. On.
Thank you so much for having me. For those of you watching, if you'd like to check out my stuff, is Bricky on basically everything. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Space Marine Steve, signing off. Very special thanks to this episode's sponsor, Frontline Gaming. If you're in North America and need anything Warhammer related, check out the affiliate link below. Get cool stuff and help us out too. On that note, if you like what we do, please consider supporting us through YouTube membership or Patreon. You'll get exclusive releases as well as behind the scenes interviews, early access to most of our shows and access to our Discord, the most happening 40K community around. That's it for us in the Play On Studios, folks. On behalf of all of us, thanks again for watching. I've been your host, JT, the voice of Play On, and until the next time we see you in the far-flung future of a grimdark universe, Play On! Play on.